Good day class! Welcome to Grade 8 Science. Today, our lesson is about seismic waves. After going through this lesson, you are expected to determine the different types of seismic waves and explain how earthquake waves provide information about the interior of the Earth. In our previous lesson, we discussed that earthquake is the shaking of the Earth's crust due to the movement of faults and that the faults move due to the energy released from the Earth's interior. Pag nagkakaroon ng earthquake, nagkakaroon din ng release ng energy that causes the ground or the Earth's crust to move or shake. Yung energy na to ay nagtatravel sa Earth's crust sa mga ng waves na tinatawag natin seismic waves. Kapag lumilindol, nagkakaroon ng paggalaw o shifting sa mga rock layers na nagpo-produce ng vibrations na siyang tinatawag na seismic waves. Seismic waves can travel within the earth or along its surface, meaning kaya niyang maglakbay um, sa interior ng earth or pwedeng sa surface lang or sa ibabaw. Ang mga tao na nag-aaral tungkol sa lindol ay tinatawag na seismologist at ang pag-aaral naman tungkol sa mga lindol ay tinatawag na seismology. Ang mga seismologist ay gumagamit ng instrumento na kung tawagin ay seismograph upang makapag-record sila ng mga data o ng mga detalye tungkol sa mga seismic waves. This is how a seismograph works. When there's an earthquake, the seismic waves are detected by the seismograph. The seismograph yields information that can help seismologists and also scientists not only about the earthquake behavior but also about the structure of the earth itself. Mayroong dalawang uri ng seismic waves. These are the body waves and the surface waves. Unahin natin talakayan ng body waves. Body waves can travel within the earth. So, ibig sabihin, kaya nitong maglakbay hanggang sa interior o sa pinakaloob ng mundo. Mayroong dalawang klase ng body waves ang P waves o ang primary waves at ang S wave o ang secondary waves. Primary waves or P waves. They are called primary waves because they are the first type of wave to arrive or first to be detected at seismic recording stations. These waves are also the fastest seismic waves. That's the reason kung bakit ito yung waves na unang nadedetect ng seismograph. The primary waves can travel through solids and liquids. The primary waves compress and expand and move back and forth in the direction of the travel of the wave. Secondary waves or S waves. They are called secondary waves because they always arrive after the primary waves at seismic recording stations. This kind of seismic wave shake or move the ground in shearing or transverse motion that is perpendicular to the direction of the travel of the waves. These are waves that move the ground up and down or from side to side and also these waves can travel only on solid materials. Now, let's discuss surface waves. So, pagkatapos mag-travel ng primary waves at the secondary waves within the earth, they are followed by the surface waves that travel along the surface of the earth. So, kaya nga siya tinawag na surface waves kasi nangyayari lang to o nag-occur lang siya sa surface o sa ibabaw ng mundo. Surface waves can travel only along solid materials. They are slower or mas mabagal kaysa sa primary waves 
and secondary waves, but they are much larger, therefore mass destructive at mass dangerous. Mayroon ding dalawang klase ng surface waves. Ang love waves at ang really waves. Love waves have horizontal motion that moves the surface of the earth from side to side perpendicular to the direction of the wave. Love waves are faster than Rayleigh waves. These waves are named after Augustus Edward Howe Love, a British mathematician who worked out the mathematical model for this wave. Rayleigh waves cause the ground to shake in an elliptical pattern which is similar to the motion of rolling waves in the ocean. Of all the seismic waves, Rayleigh waves is spread the most, giving them a long duration of seismograph recordings. Rayleigh waves are named after John William Strutt, Lord Rayleigh, a British scientist who predicted the existence of this wave. Lagi natin iniisip na ang pagkakaroon ng lindol ay mapanganib at mapanira. Pero kung ating pag-iisipan, it is somehow useful din. So, paano kaya ito nakakatulong? Earthquakes help scientists to know what is inside the Earth since seismic waves behave in different ways depending on what kind of material they encounter along the way the seismic waves become useful in determining the composition of the earth's interior for instance primary waves and secondary waves are used by the seismologist for example kapag ang seismic waves ay mas mabilis na mag-travel sa crust that means na at that depth, mas dense ang rocks. Pero, dun sa upper part ng mantle, nag slow down ang seismic waves. That means that the rocks there are partially molten and the rocks are not dense. As the seismic waves travel deeper to the core, we can observe na yung secondary wave ay naputol o nag-disappear. It is because the outer core is liquid and the secondary waves can only travel in solid materials. Samantalang yung primary waves ay tuloy-tuloy kahit nasa liquid part na ito. And because of this observation, it is said that the earth is composed of different layers. And that's all for now. See you on our next lesson.